Hey yo, what up? Welcome to Black Savage Entertainment. If you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and turn your notification bell on. Yo, and this one we got Wack 100. He's reacting to FBG Butter, saying that he wasn't scared of no jumper. He didn't get pressed by Wack 100, and his jury was safe the entire time. Now Wack 100 said he got a real issue with FBG Butter now, and he wants to get him on Clubhouse to clear the air because he don't like his name being lied on. Wack said he never had any intentions on pressing. And FBG Butter or taking his jury after it was revealed that somebody with Butter had on a rap a lot chain. So let's get into this content, man. Make sure y'all like and subscribe. Let's get it. Shout out to G Wayne. G Wayne got me in a uh, blind beef. <laughs> I'm still in it too, niggas. <clears throat> oh no, he coming to the after day. I called in. I said, bring blood to the after day because I don't like being lied on. Did nobody say? We was gonna take his chain. Did nobody say we pressed him? Where is he getting this from? I said I had to call the nigga five, six times to come in the room. And that might, the fact that he thought I knew his past probably was one of the reasons why he didn't come in there on that camera. I didn't know nothing about the nigga. Hey, but that wasn't the nigga who had the rap a lot chain on the other nigga with the with the balls in his. Gee <clears throat> Wayne, I don't know who had a rap. Yeah. We don't take Jerry, bro. And that's why I stood behind him when they wanted the picture, because I didn't know what the Yeah, we was don't going. take no motherfucking Jerry. Like, yeah, that ain't what we into, nigga. We, nigga. we, we, we take a nigga thing. soul, nigga. We ain't yeah. fuck you, Jerry. We don't. Yeah. Our mind ain't on tape. We no ain't even on that, but when they want to got no problem with rap a lot. I got an issue with that nigga, that nigga. Yeah. So if you're a rap a lot artist, producer, <clears throat> nigga, I wouldn't give a fuck if I walked to my own studio, nigga, was in. I don't give a fuck. Hey, so what they saying now? You trying to take their chance? Oh, they saying that I came on Clubhouse, said I pressed it, nigga. I said, nigga, I didn't. Clubhouse is telling me who the nigga is. Yeah, he didn't even know. I told you <laughs> after the fact. When, when they left, I told you who he was. I said, you know nigga had a rap a lot chain on. He said, which one? Hey, I just watched this shit right now, RG. I just texted you. Like, what's up? Oh, I didn't even nigga? listen. I didn't even, you niggas had to tell me. I told him. After All I asked the nigga was, you know, Kid O'Curry? Yeah, that's it. When I come to Clubhouse, niggas like, whack, you know he the one that snitched. I said, what? I'm trying to clean his snitching up. I said, well, shit. I done took a picture with the nigga. I got to try to fix this shit. I text uh, 1090 Jake. And said, yo, what you know about dude being a snitch? This nigga sent me so much shit, I act like I ain't seen it. I said, oh, shit. I ain't going to even talk about this shit. But I told him, bring that nigga to the app to clear this up. Or we going to talk about it. That nigga Butter definitely got an extensive rap sheet of ratting. I didn't know. Ghost, listen to me. We in the room, right? Now picture you being him, right? And I'm me. I'm known for exposing a rat, right? I'm in the room. They say, yeah, uh, FB something butter. I said, tell the nigga come in here. They said, yo, Wax, they come in. He like, Wax, I don't think you want to come in. And I start hollering, nigga, come in here, nigga. Fuck wrong with you, nigga, come holler at me. Nigga, what's happening? I don't even know the nigga. He come in. Where you from, nigga? Chicago. You know Kiddo Curry? Yeah, I know you fuck with kiddo. Yeah, okay, that's nephew. That's cool, my nigga. You the one got a problem with the Mickey True, bitch. I'm oblivious, ghost, to who the nigga is. But I knew why, after the fact, when the room told me who he was, I said, oh, that's why he was probably hesitant on coming in that room. Mm -hmm. He thought you he knew. Thought I, he right. thought I was going right. to go to asking questions and shit. I didn't know. Y'all know I didn't know. Yeah, he, he, he probably thought you were going to turn the content up on him. I didn't know. I, I didn't. Then the homies tell me, yeah, the other nigga got a rap a lot chain on. I said, no shit. Who is he? I ain't tripping. I'm not into snatching chains and jewelry go. That ain't what I do, bro. You ever hear whack did some shit like that, go? You need to come call me on that. I ain't never heard no I, shit like that. That's I, I not what that. I do. I'm not into that kind of shit. And if I got an issue with you, you, my issue with you, I ain't, if a nigga from rap a lot, nephew, my little mans, the ones they got up there in New York, I done seen them a bunch of times, right? Talk about all, got, all I, Almighty J. Yeah, I've been knowing that nigga for a long time, right? And um, I don't, 
tripping nobody being an artist, nigga. Be an artist, nigga. Shit, I don't give a fuck about that. So this whole narrative y'all spinning was whack went on Clubhouse and said he, I ain't said I press shit. I'm on Clubhouse telling the niggas, shit, I didn't know who the nigga was. I'm a presser, nigga. I don't know nothing about you. Then they sent me the clip. Did y'all got that clip? What's this clip? Did you see the clip they dropped yesterday when they were sitting down talking with Brick, Baby, and Adam? No, I didn't. I, you know what? That's the shit I just sent you, man. That's the one, up that's the one yeah, you check your play. phone. Um, oh, this, yeah, that's this, what this? I just sent you. But no, acting no. like he wanted to squabble. Oh, oh my mama, on. blood talking like he want to squabble, blood, and we can, yeah. we can get that in, bro. Yeah, I like to fight, ass, too, nigga. nigga. That nigga said he like to that. fight. Nigga, let's get it in. Well, we can always do that. But I'm going to tell you who to blame for that, Ghost. You know who started this shit, right? Who, Adam? Oh, no. You, you Ghost. Chuck with his clickbait title. Okay, I'm finna show you right now. Because I just got it this morning. They said, why? Look what it say. I said, nigga, I ain't write that shit. And I looked in his Chuck ass. Look. Whack 100 responds to FGG Butter Junior Prince art artist scared at No Jumper Studios. <laughs> <laughs> Whack 100 responds to FGG Butter and J Prince artist scared at No Jumper Studio. This nigga Chuck ain't shit. He full of this nigga Chuck. See what Chuck I trying said, to do nigga, with that title? He trying to get a response out, Butter. Yeah, I said, nigga, I ain't write that shit. Hey, watch. Yo, Better yeah, finna go at Chuck, baby. watch. I said, nigga, I ain't right that, nigga. The fuck? And then when you play the shit, let me, we gonna play it right now. I ain't never once said, I said, yo, bro. He said, whack, I just listened to the clip. You ain't said none of that. <laughs> he said, you didn't even know who the nigga was. My point. And then G Wayne on it. I usually don't like rats, bro, but I ain't gonna lie. Butter entertaining rap. That nigga funny as hell. Uh, what you swipe? Uh, oh, I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know who the nigga was. Watch it. I honestly had no idea who the nigga was. Till they told me. Hold on. Yeah, he a, he a funny nigga, bro. He a I, real yeah, funny no nigga. Yeah, no issues with the nigga. I sent um me texting 1090 on Friday. They said, yeah, whack, you didn't know who the nigga was. I'm asking 1090. I didn't know. So if I didn't know who you was on Wednesday, on Thursday, how the fuck up I'll press you Thursday? I ain't press you. I ain't said I pressed you. Look, because somebody said he told on some dead people, right? So I'm asking 1090, the PTR. 1090 didn't send me all kind of paperwork that I didn't ignore. Literally. Because remember, y'all, I took a picture with the nigga. I said in this clip right here, I'm going to get some backlash from this shit because I took a picture, but that's on me for not knowing. I ain't know. And then I still let it go. I could have ran the content. He said it like you pushed for the picture. No, that's, they asked That's some bullshit. They asked for it. No, last 30 seconds of that clip up top, that nigga said you pushed them for the um well, no, before you changed it. He said you pushed them for that. They asked me to Yeah, take Bump, Bumpy that's right. False. He did say that. That nigga brother did say that, bro. Nigga, they that's asked, false. They asked me to take a I don't ask niggas yeah. to take pictures. They said well, yeah. we'll take a picture. Hey Unc. Hey Unc, let's take a flick real quick. Remember the little bald headed <laughs> yeah. bitches in there? He said, Man, ain't this your photography team? Bitches, what y'all doing? Yeah. Take the picture. They asked me to take the picture. I don't you know, shit. I I didn't know though. I told y'all. I don't even got the picture. Nobody took the picture. We would have, you know. Usually, one of the homies would have yeah. took a picture. 
Uh, the I same got picture. The picture, Didn't nobody the take picture the on that nobody. fucking phone. I ain't got the goddamn picture. I just took. But at the time, I wasn't tripping. Audio, play it, play up top. Listen to this nigga Chuck. This nigga Chuck, go to work. You sleaze bag ball, big old motherfucker. Well, Foxy, motherfucking Chuck. <laughs> comes down to WAC 100, J Prince Jr., J Prince. Now, apparently, WAC 100 on Clubhouse, he was speaking on running into FBG Butter. Now, when he ran into FBG Butter, he said that he originally told him to come inside the area that he was in. And Butter was like, you know what I'm saying? Basically, he wasn't going over the, you know, possibility of, you know, the rumors of him being a rat. You know, uh, WAC 100 always speaking on rats and shit, exposing them. So, you know, he didn't want to, you know, address Wack. So Wack said he started calling his name. So eventually he came in and, um, you know, they took a picture. He said he didn't really know who FBG Butter was. He just knew that um, they was like, you should meet him. Now, he go to rap a lot part. So one of the guys that was with Butter, they heard that Wack 100 was in that building. And apparently they didn't want to answer. You know, some of his homies that be standing outside, I guess, you know, on security, seen the dude with the rap a lot chain and say he had introduced himself to them guys that was outside, but he did not go in the inside of the building. And a lot of people are saying that this is possibly coming because of the beef between WAC 100 and J Prince Sr. as well as Junior. Now, me personally, I, I, I could see why Buddy wouldn't want to go in that studio because he don't know what type of energy dude on, you know, as far as, like, what, what, what type of concerns he need to have going into that building. You know, pretty much this guy is beefing with, you know what I'm saying, my CEOs. That's what I would take, right? Because he a rapper. He signed a rap a lot. If he beefing, if Wack is beefing with J Prince and J Prince Jr., you know, is beefing with his CEOs. So... He probably was like, you know what, I'm not even going to put myself in that type of situation to possibly get this chain snatched, then it all be on the news. You know what I'm saying? It'd be all over on the internet, all on the blogs. You know, California in possession of a rap a lot chain. And if y'all didn't know, so back when Mace, last week when Mace and um, Cameron had mentioned J Prince, they were saying how... He don't pretty much go at the West Coast. Like anybody who talks something about Drake, he usually in their defense. And in this case with Kendrick, you know, TDE, he didn't say anything to top top about Top Dog as well as to Kendrick. You know, as if, you know, that's just something he don't want to play with. You know, I, I could be wrong, but this is what the internet is saying. This is what people are pulling from the comments. You know, a lot of people are leaving them type of comments like where that energy for Kendrick. Where that energy? Why you got all that energy for Mason Cameron when Kendra just destroyed Drake, allegedly, right? So, it's just, to me, bro, honestly, it's just a whole puzzle when it comes to this J Prince and WAC 100 thing. You know, they've been beefing for some years now, and I don't know. Are they ever going to cross paths? Are they ever going to cross paths? And that's, that's the question. And what happens in that moment? Do one of them demonstrate? You know what I'm saying? Some of this stuff that they've been talking about online. You know, what comes behind it. Now, I'm going to play this footage as well as I'm going to drop some more audio. If y'all didn't hear the original audio of um, Wax speaking on Jay Prince and the whole May situation. But y'all get in the comments and y'all let me know what y'all think. It's Duff for the Cloud Chaser TV. First thing I do is, you know Kiddo? Kiddo Curry? He like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You fuck with Kiddo? Yeah, yeah. That's, you know, that's P. I was like, okay, cool. But I didn't... See, Adam and none of them niggas even mentioned to me that this was the nigga. Yeah, because that other nigga stayed outside with us. He didn't even come in there. The one with the rap a lot change. Because they thought, listen, G Wayne, they thought we was on some, they thought I was going to get on some bullshit. Yeah, that nigga stayed outside. Yeah, they thought I was going to get on some bullshit, but I, I really didn't know. Yeah, so I I'm can't, I didn't know the name. I can't remember his name, though he said his name. I'm about to catch backlash about that. But that's on me for not knowing. See, with me, J. Prince got the popularity vote. With Cam and uh, Mace, he don't got the popularity vote. And, and, and Mace is arrogant. Cam is arrogant. So you started it, what you gonna do? And they didn't say what they said, so let's see where it go.
Yeah, if I know Jay Britt, he gonna get on the phone and want to have a conversation. That's all he do. He just like to and make it look like that's why I wasn't doing that with him. He tried to do the same shit. Nah, we ain't doing that because that's what you do. And then you try to make it look like you know you to this and you to that. We ain't doing that. Facts. Hey, did you hear the audio though? Them niggas, them niggas reference you. Cam and Mace reference you. Reference your little shit that you had with Jay Prince and like, shit. He probably they probably talked about me NBA. They probably talked about why you ain't say nothing to Top Dog them. You know what I mean? I, I can only imagine shit they. That's definitely say. what they said. That's definitely what they said, bro. Can anybody play audio on here? Big Chuck got put on punishment. His girl said she ain't moving back in until he stay off clubhouse. So he, he can't do it. But see, why did the nigga even go at them niggas? Like, what you tripping over? You tripping over a fighter, right? I'm pretty sure all Mason them and did was did their little commentary on it. All they said was the same shit that every motherfucking sports commentator been saying. That the nigga Shakur Stevenson, his fights is boring. That's just the truth. Everybody feel the same way. And then after his last fight, you know, all them people was walking out before the fight was over. So after the fight, everybody was like, his fights is boring. Niggas don't like to go see Shakur Stevenson fight. Boom. Cam and Mace did they little daily sports commentary, which they supposed to do because they're a sports show. They're a sports show, Jay Prince. That's what they supposed to do. They supposed to commentate on sports. Once they did that, Shakur got in his feelings. He started talking crazy about Cam and Mace. Boom. You know Cam and Mace like what you just said, Wack. Them they niggas did. is, yeah, they not going for that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> them, niggas, them niggas is really arrogant ass niggas, bro, and they got them slick rides. Them niggas for real. Facts. So they said what they said. Shakur said what he said. And now Jay Prince put up this post yesterday and, you know, did the little weak ass shit he always yeah, try to do the little. about I handle all this outside business too. And all right. Right, all his fake Michael Corleone type shit. You know what I'm saying? That nigga, that nigga made said, nigga, we don't got no big home. <laughs> oh, God. Yo, he picked the right two. And what he don't know is Cam let Mace control it. So that means... <laughs> he got the right, listen, he got the popularity vote over me. What up, you know? what up, what up? But he ain't got that over them niggas right there. No, what's all. the word, folks? Nah, not at all. Not nah. at all. I want to see, because New York was siding with old Jay Prince. I want to see what New York got to say about it. But see, they brought that up, too. Mace was saying basically like, okay, he was saying about how Jay Prince tried to call out New York, you know, when that change shit happened and yeah. all that. And he was like, that ain't really go over too well for Jay Prince. Then he brought up you. Mace was like, you trying to pick and choose, you know what I'm saying? You ain't say shit to whack 100 when he was at you, you know what I'm saying? And then Cam was like, Cam kind of correct, corrected him a little bit and was like, well, he did respond to whack, but he was like, Cam was like, the shit whack said to him, I ain't even gonna repeat that shit, you know what I'm saying? He was like, whack violated that nigga and um, ain't no really coming back for that type shit. Like, basically, like, he could never be cool after that type shit, the way you violated that nigga and shit, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why he went there. He must have forgot who them two niggas is. That nigga Mace is the asshole of assholes. He's going to make you, nigga. And, and Cam don't give a fuck. Yeah, nah, Cam don't. They, they gave the nigga like a good 10 minutes. They gave him a little like, you know, like a little warning <laughs> shot. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to see what Jay Prince going to come back and say. If Jay Prince respond to this shit and keep this shit going... Them niggas going to flame his ass the fuck up, bro. He going to do his ass dirty. Yeah, all I know is this. Um, he's showing the signs. See, he used to get away with this shit back in the day. Because people would get on the phone and say, hey, man, hey, man, hey, man. No. This ain't Mace them of the early 90s. This ain't them. Niggas ain't getting on the phone saying shit. Them niggas did they little sports shit. They wasn't disrespectful. It was what it was. And you tried to get on there and say, and I handle all this outside business too. Like them niggas was supposed to tuck their tail. 
Yeah, nah, they ain't going for that. Mace, Mace said that shit too. Mace was like, I used to have some type of respect for you, but now I don't have no type of respect for you at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, you 60 years old trying to push this, trying to trying to pull this little street shit on niggas. Like, niggas is little niggas. Niggas is not little niggas, bro. You gotta understand that shit. Them niggas, when it come to they voice, they voice is way bigger That's than yours, Jake. Bro, and here go the thing for a nigga who been Rico, who have been popped with. 50 keys and all kind of shit and this shit going on down there still ongoing investigations this nigga real loose with his mouth with this type of shit bro why do you think Jay Prince feel he could speak on everybody in business except the west coast nah he ain't gonna fuck with that no I know he ain't I know he don't speak up on west coast business <laughs> he ain't gonna fuck with that but what makes our politics different from all these other coasts that he's willing to speak up? It's um, been robbed five times out here. Okay. There it's a go. fact. And he got to call niggas, call, he can call us, call Big U, call the Blackstones, you know, to try to, you know what I'm saying? Okay. He know, he know, you got to remember, they can skate around that South because you know the gd or the bd whatever one they associate with you know they got their business over there that shit don't work over here we don't give a fuck about none of that kind of shit over here niggas is crippling and blood and south side and power road and and just the basic hustlers because we got some real hustler niggas don't fall up with a no flag that's gonna get with the shit right so he he know that shit you can't make them call he tried to make a call on me out there and the homie said I hear you he said let me tell you how I met Wack on the level 3 yard 1996 I was two weeks to the house nigga owed me a debt wasn't paying me I was finna go blast him. he said gee homie I can't let you do that and he took that for me he said so if you calling me about my homeboy nigga I know I'm from company from Bacoima but this what you better know nigga this power road and that nigga got off that jack and their little niggas, he got represent rap a lot in West or whatever. He calling them, they calling me, nigga. Call what you wants to do, whack. He don't understand the part that I told him, like, bro, stop playing on that phone. Before I start playing with your real life, I plan on that phone, bro. I plan on that phone. Yeah. None, of them, none of them niggas in this bloodline outside of his brother is that. His kids ain't that, and they some good little dudes. You know what I'm saying? Especially that one Josh. Josh Prince and the little lights get on. Good little dude. Had on their business. Don't fuck with nobody. None of that shit. Right? The other nigga a little weird. He got rape cases. All kind of weird shit. He be trying to play tough and he ain't tough. You know what I'm saying? But but he need to really kick back, bro. Because that Cam and, uh, and, and Mace, they gonna give him the attention he looking for. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, I know this is... Um, I noticed that rap a lot West he tried to start that label and that shit just disappeared. There ain't no, he ain't even a rap a lot south. Yeah, uh, that shit dead right now. Dead. So, but I tell you what, he got the right to, and New York gonna stand with them niggas. They ain't going for none of that. That ain't no hocus four fifth shit going on. With you that. see how quick them niggas responded, bro? That shit happened yesterday evening. Them niggas did that shit first thing this morning. That shit dropped like nine o'clock in the morning. But it make him look so bad. It make Jay Prince look like he he select the politicking because nigga, you always speak up for Drake whenever Drake got some shit going on. When Drake had the shit going on with Diddy, you remember Jay Prince put out that little mm -hmm. notice he did. Anytime Drake got issues, he's stepping up. But with this Kendrick shit, this shit been quiet as a church oh, mouse. Goes. This nigga ain't said nothing. Goes this from them talking about his fights is boring? This is where this shit Yes, started, bro. This, this, shit this came from them giving commentary off of a fucking boxing match, bro, which they do on they show, bro. The nigga Shakur been on they show before. So I, I don't I don't understand what they think going on. These niggas know how Cam and Mace get well, up, bro. Is saying that. This shit nasty. This shit nasty. Man, fuck Jay Prince. He out of touch. Yeah, he definitely out of touch, bro. He definitely out of touch. This nigga think this shit still 1989, 1998, shit like that. Do that nigga even have any artists? Nah, you know, he he into the boxing, I guess. I mean, you, you could say they got finesse two times, but you know, finesse two times losing, losing his steam and shit. Nah, Jay Prince, J, J, J Prince, he don't even fuck with the music no more. He left that shit to his sons and shit. That nigga just try to focus on the boxing and shit. 
So like rap a lot, yeah. nah, the niggas ain't doing shit. Finesse ain't been around them niggas and I don't know how long. Franklin, you sound like you from Texas. You from Texas, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm down here in Houston right now. Got you, got you. So, so can you give us like a little, a little breakdown of like what Jay Prince and Shakur Stevenson connection is? Because a lot of people don't know. Oh no, I don't know too much in detail, bro. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas, that nigga is just supposedly his his manager in boxing and shit like that or whatever. Supposedly or whatever, but outside of that, bro, you know what I'm saying? They they probably got some connections outside of it, but I don't really know too much, bro. So Jay Prince do sports management Maybe too? Shakur trying yeah. to go down the Floyd been, route because he, you remember he been in boxing. Yeah, he trying to go down the Floyd uh, route. When Floyd had oh uh, shit, I ain't never knew that. Had that nigga Jay Prince get him out of that contract with Bob Arum. Yep. So Facts. that might be that might be the angle that he going with trying yeah, to Jay, use his muscle. Yeah, Jay Prince been in the boxing for a minute, man. He been he been in the boxing for a yeah, long he's time. Boxing for a minute. Yeah, I seen I seen he had an interview one time. He said he was trying to manage Mike Tyson when Mike Tyson was hot. He said he went to a meeting to try to manage Mike, took a million dollars up there, some shit. Mike turned him down, type shit. Do his name still hold the way it used to hold back in the day? Or, you know, is them young niggas running shit around there now? Yeah, he still had the respect he did. Uh, we gonna always have that respect here in Houston. Um the young niggas here, they they have the respect for him, but it's like uh, it's one of the things that we not scared of you type shit. You know what I'm saying? We respect you, but we not scared of you type shit. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's that's generally what it is. So, but uh, nah, he's 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 still uh, who he is here in Houston. That's for sure. See, the issue with Jay Prince, I think he think his little power, whatever he got in Houston goes across the board across the country and that's where he's getting mistaken because la niggas we don't give a fuck about him never have well see he got some he got he got he got a lot of connections around the, around the country no, i'm not saying he don't Prince fucked up when he i believe he, when he fucked up when he uh when he got on when he got on the internet that's where he fucked up you know what i'm saying if he's supposed to be the the steam that he has and the person that he is he should have never got on the internet and started talking and started doing Was that it? Hello? Who was playing audio? Yeah, but I'm trying to figure out where I said I pressed it. I didn't hear that in that audio. But we said we wanted to take you, Jerry. Never did. <clears throat> you niggas is crazy, man. These niggas just be needing something to talk about. Just mentioned, chain was mentioned, and then the whole narrative gets. Yeah, funny. I never even saw a chain. They only talked about the chain to identify what he was up under. Play that other clip. I got with dude talking, whatever he said. The one from No Jump? Yeah. Old Chuck. Good five star in the ass. This the guy right here. Y'all can't tell me. This the guy right here, man. I'm sick of this shit. They just tagged me in because I had the bigger name. This is the guy right here. This is the motherfucker y'all need to talk to. Man. What happened? Did you get your chain to cool? Pause the song. Let's hear, the, let's hear that. Let's hear that. I want to know. Did you get your chain took? Oh, no. I don't believe it. I'm no, saying The that. biggest pie rule? Hey, I'm lying? No way. Hey, man, I don't know. Did don't anyone know, confront you in any way? Was there any tension? Anything? Oh, uh, hell no. Like, I was out there talking to his, um, 
His security guards and shit like that. Yeah, like they guys don't want to shit. took right here, man. They said they was going to take. Oh. My rap a lot chain and shit. Oh, I like shit. You know, big shout out to Prez and E, man. Y'all know what the fuck going on. Dariana Don, man. I'm really mad. Like, I'm, I'm a humble ass dude, gang. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't even. Like, I know what they got going on and shit, but they ain't got nothing to do with me personally. I mean, I just got to stand on my 10. That's yeah. it, bro. And my P's and my, my morals is you support the big homies, you respect the big homies, you know? So, shit, regardless, of, you know, the OG is going to get respect out of me. Like, I don't got to, like, push no buttons. Where you from? I'm from Chicago. You from Chicago? Yeah, I'm from out west. Ah, uh, yeah. What, what, what you under? GD? Yeah, I'm GD. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I'm an R&B I'm singer. I'm from right? out west, but we gay, man. Yeah. Oh, you R&B yeah, singer? Right. Yeah, I'm an R&B singer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's different. Though. You know what I'm saying? It's a little different. Yeah, this is my producer too, by the way, man. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know? Oh yeah, I'm rap. You, you a producer? No, I'm a, I'm a R&B yeah, singer. R&B oh yeah. yeah, so you signed the J Prince? I'm gonna sign the rapper out Midwest, but that's it's a branch. It's, it's affiliation. Yeah. It's affiliation with them. This is this is the Chicago version. The same. This is the same record label that FBG Duck was getting ready to sign to. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The Midwest is out there in Chicago. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. That's how that came. That's how that came about. Did somebody uh, ask you about anything about rap a lot or what y'all? When we was talking, when we was talking out there. Yeah. Oh no, they just asked me. You know, they was like, "Oh, you rap a lot." I'm like, "Yeah, I rap a lot, Midwest." You know what I'm saying? That's why I said like I ain't feel no tension, bro. I'm I'm laid back. Adam came out there when I was just sitting out there playing the music. I was just chilling, bro. Just chilling, man. Like, I wasn't scared of nothing. I ain't even know nobody was sitting over there. I ain't even know this was a little area. Hey, I ain't even know them bitches yeah. was right there. I ain't even gonna call right. them old niggas bitches. But them motherfuckers yeah. was deep right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them yeah. like four of them, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker hit the corner. I'm damn. I come in and bitch shake hands. Yeah. Why not? Oh God! I would have came all in here. You know what I'm saying? Cooks. I just respect all the these podcast, niggas. Big and you know what I'm saying? They fat. They them. like fat, stocky, short ass niggas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Big lift weights and don't run. All they, oh, they do is lift weights and eat. Ain't no, ain't no cardio. It's just <laughs> knock on that motherfucker. Uh, I, was, it, I ain't gonna lie, though. Some real shit, though, man. You know, cause bro, he got a lot of he got, got a lot of lash back behind this shit, though, Adam. Oh, you know God. what I'm saying? Uh, well. You know, you had Prez and Ink Dog, all them calling him, and you know, he yeah. down here with me, so it's like, damn, they, they motherfucker looking like, come on, butter, we are, we, we motherfucker fucking with you, but now you got some shit going on, and yeah, now they don't yeah. feel like I done walked them into some shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's oh, like, hell, no, nah, I, I, I ain't even moving like that, because at the same time, I'm like, yeah, this is my brother. Off camera, on camera, whatever. It's like this is my brother, but at the same time, I don't, I, I wouldn't want him to walk me into no shit either. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I, I doubt it was like that. I think it was more for content purposes. A, 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 a whack explaining his day that day and him putting the extra sauce on there. I don't think it. Yeah, that's for sure. Him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think that there was any tension. If there was, I didn't hear about it. And we had security there that day, who yeah. also, you know, probably would have said something to me if there was anything yeah. weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, you know. I, I mean, I don't know what they got going on to what severity because I ain't a part of that camp, but I, I know why. If, if it was that serious, he probably would have said something. Oh, yeah, or at least tried to do something. Man, right we got it all on my mama. Yeah, right then and there. That big, shit. Yeah, yeah. I thought this nigga was like six feet. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, he was yeah. a little ball ball. Hey, you gotta get up out of this. We all been this hurt, folks. Oh my yeah, brother, yeah, I got a yeah, fight. Yeah. That's why I love the West Coast game. I ain't gonna not love the LA on two good shorty because a motherfucker will get it on. Yeah, yeah. They gonna get, get, going with with you. With you. get on with your ass. Get on with you. Like, yeah, yeah. alright, what's up? I'm like, Whack yeah. would definitely squabble you, I you think. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you, know, you don't get that a lot. Not where I'm from. You don't get no fame. Oh, yeah, a nigga you like Whack, you just gotta watch out for that haymaker. You know Make sure he don't land that haymaker. If he cocks back and land that motherfucker, you gonna be in trouble. At what year? At what age does old man strength kick in? For sure, it was a long time ago with Whack. I bet he looked like that for a long time. Yeah. My mama called me about that shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Everybody. You know, she old. So, you know, all the old people, they get to the old people shit. Yeah, they, they get to looking at them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Clubhouse an old people thing? 
For in his case, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, how she it was, and young think, uh, young people think. Now you got motherfuckers, mamas on that bitch. Oh, this geez. nigga's like yeah, Mitchy Slick, Mitchy Slick, and Wack the same age. Like you be having motherfuckers around his age that understand the stories that you know. Reggie, Reggie, what his name? Right, White. Oh, he be in there. All them people are like you know, nearing it's, sixty. It's, 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 but they love just shooting the shit. Yeah, they talk so it's shit perfect though. For them. Yeah, yeah. They you know? at the house. Okay. Even Stutterbox, all them, all the people that's on there. It's like, yeah, that works for them. Right. But I mean, you know, he he's a marketing genius with this shit for sure. He gonna get a response out your ass regardless. Yeah, he he definitely got me. He got my brain. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I was in the Mexican spot, shorty, and that bitch, Hadiva, Hadiva, on Fool's Grave. <laughs> motherfucker called my phone to my whack. What? 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 Motherfucker took my took and folks chain. You got, uh, <laughs> you got Mama Truth them. You got you got so Bug many up, important people that's calling. Oh, they God. calling about this shit, and, we, and I'm just like, oh hell no, nah. you know what I'm saying? Cause these my these, these motherfucking people that I, or the motherfucker outside the city and. You know what I'm saying? She on restaurants and shit like that. Shoot a bit. She got restaurants and shit like that. So it's like, uh. Yeah, if we could get another trailer, that'd be now, great. Think about this. How I'm gonna fuck up with these people? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can't fuck up with these yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. This like they, this they baby boy, G. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Definitely. Y'all was at No Jumper, and I think that. Both sides got enough respect for, uh, for the people to hear for Adam. But the whole thing is that there wasn't even any yeah. tension or anything. It was yeah. just something that Wax said after the fact, probably. I mean, it was like a letter to Jay Prince. Yeah. It didn't have nothing to <laughs> do with yeah. Kyle. That's involved. Ten different states with what he got going. I was gonna say, but you mm-hmm. it broke me a west. We Chicago. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. got some shit going on from Houston. Houston. What the yeah. fuck? Why? Why even get on that bitch? Like y'all gonna get got y'all bully turned anyway. Um, bro, cause we ain't, I ain't get on no, no, no platform like I got my buddy turn picture drop. I show mad love. I mean, shout out to the big dog. You know what I'm saying? It was a classic meeting type of shit. You know? No, I, I get what you saying though. I, you asked us for a picture. Oh, do I gotta go there? Good, he asked for, yeah, I asked for the motherfucking picture. Wack wanted the photo with butter. Yeah. He wanted the picture. He asked us for the picture. He, hey man, make sure these like get, make the ladies get up and take the picture, boy. Well, you was in the picture? Yeah, I was in the picture with him. That's part of the message. <laughs> <laughs> That's part of the uh, message. He was, he, uh, was, they, was up to no was, good it all was, time. Yeah, I mean, I ain't trying to give up his, you know what I mean? Like, I, I mean, you don't. I don't want him to think that I'm speaking bad on it. But taking the photo is, is but a troll. The photo was the, thank you. It's yeah, a troll. I said it, not me. You know what I mean? <laughs> Again. Where did I say I pressed the nigga? Man, he been in no jumper a whole lot. So now if I see you, we going to see who going to do what. Now it's on. Fuck about Adam. None of that shit. Paul wrote. Now it's on. You did it. Where did I ever say I pressed you? I don't ask niggas for pictures. Now it's on. <clears throat> you just, your little no jumper comfort zone now gone. Because we catch you, nigga, we flight you. We gonna stomp your ass out. And ain't no no jumper security fucking with the squad on Paul Road. We running through all that. So now it's on. So you just said a little. Brick trying to tell him, like, bro, you going there and he ain't even. I still don't think. He been listening to nothing himself. It sounded to me like he going on with everybody telling him. Crazy. The nigga retarded, whack. That's how he do it. Make up shit just for an interview. I don't even know where that shit came from. He just needed something to talk about, whack. The nigga retarded. He, he fuck his own self up. You know, that nigga be on that with fake change. They done caught him with fake money. All just for these little bullshit interviews. Nigga talking about we wasn't ready for them, boy. <laughs> Shit crazy. I'm confused. I'm like, nigga, what is All of it's coming from Chuck's clickbait title. I'm telling you. 
They're reading the title. They ain't even listening to it. That's all the camera. Nowhere on that audio where it say, we talked about taking your Jerry. None of that. Nothing. <laughs> exactly. So where All I, I heard you saying was, I heard you saying you were that trying to give him a pad. So where that nigga Chuck at? Hey, check this is the second out, time his ass did some weird shit like that. Once again, niggas using whack name can't. for clout. <laughs> Say crazy, but check, buddy. But check this though, a lot of motherfuckers can't throw a baseball over uh, 100 miles per hour since y'all motherfuckers won't talk that old shit with big bro motherfucking bowling. Throwing a motherfucking bowling ball over a hundred miles out. So y'all bitch want to get up on that pressure. Keep playing, huh? And you gonna you gonna feel that. Boy, you just gave a hell of an analogy there, boy. God, I'm damn. telling you, man. Listen, when Luce came up, he said, <laughs> "No, he's been, that bitch he, over a hundred. <laughs> yeah. Over a hundred. That's what I mean. You got. They don't know what bowling is, nigga. They don't. Right. He said this nigga spitted the bowling ball a hundred miles. <laughs> over a hundred miles an hour. Was that an analogy Ooh. or? I don't not know what he's talking about. I nah, like he, nah, see, you gotta remember when I bowl, I just go bowl. There's no expertise, so I don't know how to read all the shit. Yeah, so you Luke just Tanner throwing that like, motherfucker. Luke Tanner was like, man, me and this nigga went bowling. This nigga knocking down strike. This nigga was bowling. It was 108, 110 miles per hour, but I don't know. Even where they seeing this shit at, I'm just bowling, nigga. I don't know where to read nothing. I'm just there, really killing time and watching my woman's ass when she go to bowl. That's that's all I'm doing. <laughs> so I didn't know that the fucking miles per hour is registered. I ain't know. So they like whack come out. He don't know how to bowl. This nigga must been doing this shit. This nigga bowling 110, 112 motherfucking ball moving, and I'm like. I'm like, well, shit, what's wrong with that? I don't know if that's normal, not normal shit. I don't know. Nigga, I'm just bowling. He said the nigga's throwing a 15-pound ball. <laughs> Man, listen. I <laughs> but you heard shit. Brick. Brick said, don't let him catch you with that hate. <laughs> that, right. <laughs> that, that is. Right. Yeah. Nah, but Brick was trying to tell him, like, I don't think the nigga... I ain't say shit. That's Chuck with his click beta ass type. All Chuck, my nigga. Yeah, he was oh, definitely that. saying y'all wasn't on nothing. That's for sure. Nigga, I wouldn't. Bro, y'all taught me who he was. I didn't even know who the nigga was. That nigga just crowd chasing off you, whack. Damn. Yeah, I don't know what to say. <laughs> Two days ago. Ooh, when you was talking to Kiddo, <laughs> you had shook the nigga head. Yeah, Kiddo coming. I say, yo, Kiddo like, whack, he a rat. I say, shit, what you mean? We tell him. I ain't know who the nigga was. I said, I ain't know the nigga. I asked him if he knew you. I honestly didn't know the nigga, bro. I had no idea. All they told me is, that's the nigga that got into it with Mickey Troop. That's all they told me. I, I didn't know who the nigga was. Nigga, I didn't have no intentions on pressing you. Nigga, that, you would have been pressed. Right. That's what that was. Oh, nigga would have been, nigga yeah. been a YouTube video already. Nigga, what is you yeah, talking Big about? Big Baby is telling the nigga if he was on that, bro. He, he wasn't. Y'all see, no, I... see my PTR? That nigga whack ain't playing. I, I had no motherfucking idea. You niggas, I think one of y'all must have seen a promo clip. Y'all like, whack, you was up there with such and such? I'm like, yeah, yeah, he was up there. And niggas are, whack, he a rat. I'm like, who a rat? <laughs> I said, damn, I took a picture with the nigga. I didn't know. I knew nothing. You niggas taught me about him. Well, let's talk about that niggas ratting today then in the beehive. Fuck no, that No, let nigga. me tell you what's crazy. 1090 J. I asked 1090 in my PTR, yo, bro, because one of y'all was like, whack, I think he told on the dead man, right? One of you niggas in here said that. I thought so they I said asked, he told on his dead sister. No, I asked 1090. Oh, no, no. 
1090 said me, the nigga, this nigga told on everybody. I just didn't say nothing because I ain't have an issue with the nigga. He said everybody he told on his day ones, Lil J and Dude confronting him on the phone about it. He didn't send me audio he told in a murder case and told in jail Dude tried to get him flipped on some shit. Then he testified in the O Block case. Any paperwork, he sent me all the work. That's why they called him Italian beef and peps. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. Bro, you niggas is. Watch this, Bobby. You niggas is teaching me. I'm like, I'm telling y'all, trolling. Shit, I got to try to clear this nigga name. I took a picture with the nigga. That's a fact. That's what I told you. I, yep. I, I, I honestly did not know. You can run a whole bug. room on his snitch allegations. Yeah, Bumpy, I'm gonna send you all the word. This is everything 1090 sent me. I asked 1090 because I didn't know. When you niggas was telling me what y'all was telling me, I hit 1090. Yo, what you know about this? Well, yeah, did I got we read that little J word. Listen, I didn't that even know you even had this conversation prior. When I sent you this shit this morning, I'm thinking this all new shit. I didn't know you even Bro, seen listen, them y'all gotta okay, watch this. Have we talked about this dude over here on our side? Not nope. a never. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I don't, you know, I, you know, when I hear Chicago shit, I let, I ain't gonna lie. I kind of stay away from it and let kiddo run his play over there. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't be, if I need anything, Chicago, whatever, I'm gonna call kiddo, ask kiddo, come on. I do the same shit every time. I don't know nothing about this dude. They said, "Why, well, yeah, that's the dude that got into it with Mickey Truth." I said, "Oh, bring him in." It. I didn't. I didn't know who the nigga was. I had no idea why he got into it. He said, "Yo, it was because you know, Mama Duck invited her, and then she wore that shirt of the nigga that killed old boy." That was it. I didn't until I came in here. Somebody must have saw a picture or something. Yo, whack. I'm like, yeah, I seen the nigga no jumping. Yo, whack, you know he a snitch. I'm like, no, I didn't know. One of y'all was saying he told on somebody that was dead or something. And I was like, well, if he told on the dead, man, shit. I hit 1090 and asked him. And he said, nah, whack, he told on everybody. And sent me all that. I still never ran the content. I, been, I got all this shit from 1090 last week. Never ran it. These niggas up there making up lies. Nigga, I ain't never said I pressed you. Never said I wanted the jury. Never, none of that. Police in Houston area made multiple arrests early Wednesday for what FBI officials described as a massive bust using the NRG facility as a processing area for those detained. Uh-oh. Content is content. I told you they sent me this the other day. The end is near. Fed sweep coming down in the streets of H-Town. I wouldn't trust a soul outside right now because they're probably working with the feds to get a better deal for themselves. Folks out here faking hard, knowing they in big trouble. It's hot outside. And them princes is right in the middle of this shit. Oh, this is the rape victim paperwork I've been waiting on on old J. Prince Jr. All right. Got him. Get the rest of that going on. Yeah, this bad work. My man said they coming, Wack. Told you, round one. Rounding up the peons. First big boy, the big boys is next. In the room where you got not Chuck Low. He's supposed to have killed Odie Perry and blamed it on KI to get out Odie is who old block is named after. I don't know. Okay, Spy 35. Yeah, but Big Chuck talking about these clips. Man, get the fuck out of here. 
Nigga, come on, you fuck. Nah, Chuck, what? bring your ass in here. Blood on the shed, Chuck. Bring your ass in here, nigga. I know you listening somewhere. End of this audio, man. How y'all feel about WAC 100 kicking it on with FGB Butter after he lied on WAC name and said that WAC tried to press him and his entourage and try to extort them and rob them for the jury. Now, WAC 100 saying that none of this is true. He lying on his name and he goes as far to say that this is all because of Big Chuck's title on one of his videos that said WAC 100 reacts to FBG Butter and J Prince artists being scared had a new jumper so the title it was trying to get a reaction out of fbg butter but it ended up getting a response from WAC 100 because he ended up having to clear his name now fbg butter he did an interview and he kind of said that yeah he was ready to squabble there's a bunch of old dudes in WAC 100's crew they not ready for him and you know he was pretty much saying that he was with whatever he likes to fight so WAC 100's here and he said you know what it's on now next time i see you have that same energy now WAC 100 rolls with a pretty thick squad when he's at no jumper so if he runs into fbg butter nine times out of ten is not gonna be a good thing for him now shockingly brick baby even tries to warn fbg butter that you know whack 100 he plays a little bit different if he was on that with you he would have kicked it off when he initially called you in the no jumper now if y'all not aware fbg butter was at no jumper doing a separate interview whack 100 got wind that he was in the building he started calling for him to come into the room with whack fbg butter was a little hesitant at first until whack 100 started screaming like yo get in the room come holler at me and that's what made FBG Butter go into the room with WAC 100. And I guess he was a little uncomfortable because WAC 100 is known to expose snitches. And it's been revealed that he testified against King Von uh, for the murder of KI. And it was also believed that he is the killer of OD Perry, but he put it on his deceased sister, KI. So 1090 Jake, he did a whole uh, breakdown on FBG Butter. He did some videos on why he believed FBG Butter is a snitch. So y'all could check that out. But if you made it this far in the video, y'all gotta let me know what y'all feel about WAC 100. He's kicking on a beef with FBG Butter. Now he might be trying to make an example out of Butter because everybody keeps saying that his team is old, there's a bunch of old heads that are just short, stocky dudes. So WAC 100 might be looking to make an example out of FBG Butter and to warn everybody else to not play with him or his team. So y'all let me know how y'all feel this is going to go down. Let me know in the comments. If you made it this far, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Give this video a thumbs up and turn the notification bell on so you know when I drop the next video. Peace.